Hey everybody, John Hampy with the Mass Hire Metro North IT Department, and today I'm going to discuss how to import your invites and contacts into your WebEx session, whether it's going to be WebEx training or WebEx events. Now there is a distinction between how you import uh, your contacts into each of those sessions, and I'm going to explain exactly what the difference is because there is definitely a difference to to make note of and it might even dictate which uh which platform you're going to want to use if you're going to want to use events or you're going to want to use training now obviously they're they are different uh they offer different bells and whistles but for the purposes of your virtual services and your virtual delivery of services you may opt for one or the other based on the information i'm about to give you so Let's get started, all right? So we're gonna start with uh, WebEx training and we're gonna show you exactly how you import a contact uh, with a CSV file into your My Contacts uh, in WebEx. Let's get started. Okay, we're here at the Mass Hire Metro North Career Center's homepage here in WebEx and we're about to go into uh, the area called my contacts my contacts are going to be is going to be the area where it's holding all the contact information that you enter and uh, Webex training will draw from that area and That's how it'll go ahead and, and send invites out by drawing on those contacts unless you manually put contacts in as you're putting the session together. So uh, if you do it this way, it's gonna be much easier. And I wanna mention that the easiest way to do this is to uh, contact your uh, Crystal Reports uh, writer, um, the person who would be able to uh, generate a Crystal Report, um, draw out the information from Moses, say for a Career Center seminar that's coming up, and you wanna uh, have a list of the attendees and their email addresses and maybe even their job seeker ID, you can actually form, formulate the, the report to draw the information that you need out. From there, um, they're gonna export it to a CSV file. And a CSV file is a comma, comma separated value uh, delimited file that um, separates the, the data by commas. And you know whether it's an email address or first name, last name, or any other the other data elements. So, so they can do that for you, and you can get that information. And from there, you can come here and you can import that list into your My Contacts. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to come right over here to My Contacts, and as you can see, there's no contacts here yet. And um, now you're asking yourself, well, where do you, what about the template? Um, what does WebEx uh, expect, uh, you know, from a formatted CSV file? Um, what is it looking for? Well, if you need that, all you have to do is come over here to export. Okay, and you can just see it just downloaded. And I'm just gonna choose to open up There we go, sorry about that. And I'm just gonna pull it right here into view for you so you can see it. So this is how WebEx um, handles the contacts uh, on the back end. okay? So you got a distribution list here, which we're gonna go ahead and create. Uh, but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the contacts, okay? So what I did was um, I had a report and and I'm going to show you here. So what I did is I took this information right here out of um, uh, out of uh, Crystal, and what I did was is I obviously changed everything uh, for uh, PII. Um, I just changed the names. I just made up some email addresses, and we'll just assume these are the job seeker IDs. Okay, um, so what I did is I put it here, and what we're gonna do is, so I took that template from, from the My Contacts that WebEx put out, I populated the information here, and then I saved it, and I just named it First Import Contact CSV 
um, and it's in my download folder. So we're going to go ahead right now and we're going to actually import this into WebEx. All right. All right. So let me do that. Okay. Okay. Close that. Go back. And from here, we're going to go to import. And it's very important that you choose comma. All right. And then we're going to go to choose file. Okay. And that first import contact CSV that we were just looking at. I'm going to hit open. And I'm going to go ahead and hit import. And there you go. Now, if you notice, the job seeker ID is over here. Uh, very basic entry. Uh, get the full name email address with all the bogus emails and just some generic numbers to represent the job seeker ID. And I put it under phone because I noticed that when you preview the import contacts, um, the one thing that was showing up was a uh, full name, uh, email and phone. So I just put the job seeker ID number there just to kind of get it in there to have it, a, you know, we have that association. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click submit you will import or update eight contact records and there you go and here are the contacts that are now inside so uh, the webex now from here um, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a uh, you can you can create a distribution list if you want and what you can do is you can come right over here to add distribution list all right and this page, as you can see, add distribution list. We're going to give it a name. We'll just call it test DL, you know, and description. We're going to call it a CCS DL for purposes of this. And as you can see here, we don't see anything here. But if we hit go, it brings in everybody that was on the list. And I plan on taking this entire list and making a, a distribution list. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the first one and then using the shift key and the click of the mouse, I'm going to highlight everything. And then from here, we're going to click add. All right. Selected contacts are in. We've named it. We've got the description and we're going to hit add. Now we're back here at this page and what you can see is different is over here where we call the test DL. It's got this little little icon here of uh, looks like more than one person, and that represents the it represents it as a distribution list. Okay, so now that we have the contacts in here, we're gonna go over to Webex Training. We're gonna start a session. We're not gonna really populate the fields or anything like that. But what we're gonna do is we're going to um, go right to invite attendees just to get right to it and show you what the, the, the section is going to look like and what you can draw upon from that area. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, kind of go to WebEx training. All right. We're going to go to schedule training. All right. The all too familiar WebEx training page. Um, and we're going to come down to invite attendees. And what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and choose that. All right. OK. So from here, you can always you know, manually enter in information. But for the purposes of the video, we're trying to keep you from having to do that painstaking, laborious task uh, that would take quite a while. So we're going to come over here to select contacts. OK. And there you go. So you have all the contacts. Right, and then we took those contacts, we made them into a DL distribution list, and then from here, we're going to click test the test DL distribution list. We're going to go ahead and say add attendees, okay, and it just basically broke it, broke it out, if you will. You know, we, we chose the one distribution list, brought everything in, but you don't have to go ahead and click all these. What you can do is right over here where it says select all. We're going to go ahead and choose that and they automatically all get chosen. And you knew they were from that DL, that DL being the list of the Career Center Seminar 
uh, attendees that are due to go to the seminar or for whatever uh, workshop that you may be doing. So then we're going to go ahead and do invite. And there you go. And we've just brought all these invited attendees and they're ready to be invited uh, when you're done uh, populating the fields um, and configuring your session here and then at the bottom when you hit schedule um, when you hit schedule it will release the invitations and they'll go out to the customers and they'll be notified of the Career Center seminar coming up so this kind of it's not a perfect solution it is a little little clunky um, but it is actually much smoother in WebEx events now I'm not sure why WebEx or Cisco excuse me um, opted to not provide the same functionality uh, in WebEx events uh, over here in WebEx training uh, considering the, the, the large platform that WebEx training provides but I'm going to show you how that works and I think you'll be uh, impressed with that so and again you, you know you may decide to use either or uh, platform but we'll see how it goes so um, let's get over to Webex events all right we're back here at the Mass Hire Metro North Korea Center's homepage and we're gonna go right into Webex events right now we we'll come right down here on the bottom left we're gonna go choose that and now uh, we're gonna come to schedule an event okay and we're going to come down to create an invitation list. All right. Now, again, what's the difference? The difference is from here in the session, it allows you to import a CSV file with a bunch of contacts that you can just do. And as soon as you do, you can just choose it and invite. Okay. With the WebEx training, it draws on the My Contacts list where you need to again import and then create a distribution list and then when you go into the session then you can go to contacts and then pull that down and attach that and uh, as I demonstrated earlier so I'm going to show you how to do it here so we're here at the create attendee invitation list you can select contacts from an existing address book import a comma or tab delimited file so we're going to go to import contacts okay and i put in the distribution list name i'll just call it ccs we're going to go to choose file webex events okay make sure that comma is chosen and we're going to go ahead and hit import okay it says import partially successful it was successful you can see you successfully imported eight of eight contacts into uh, in the distribution list well that's how many there were for whatever reason it says partially the contacts I think it's just kind of a notification the contacts with incorrect or incomplete email addresses were not imported there were none um, it just happens to say throw this message but as you can see eight of eight and there was only eight so we're good to go okay so we're gonna go ahead and hit close and as you can see over here here is the list that we just brought in CCS the little icon of uh, more than one person and what we would do now is we would check that box and hit invite and then when you schedule the event at the bottom of the page when you launch you hit, hit schedule it'll release all those emails and they will go to the attendees now I should mention also that in addition to allowing uh, WebEx event to uh, you know uh, uploading uh, a CSV right here in the session um, if you come here and take a look and instead of import contacts we go to select contacts WebEx events is allowed to draw on that um, that my contacts list okay now as you can see here you don't see the CCS DL it did not it did not save it as part of the my contacts list it's just not offered but it allows you to offer it uh, to upload it into real time into the webex event session and then to attach it and send out the invite but for whatever reason they have not allowed that functionality to 
you know, in, a, in the process of doing that to, um, to save it for whatever reason. And uh, that's unfortunate because um, I do believe WebEx training should have that same option. It does not. So let us close this out. Okay. Okay, we're back at the home page and we're gonna go ahead and just take another look at my contacts. Okay. And again, as you can see, that, that uh, CSV that we just put up uh, in WebEx events is not reflected here. So again, um, it's actually not too labor intensive um, to uh, import a CSV into my contacts and then to quickly just go over here to distribution list and to take everything that you just brought in and you just add it here and give it a name. And then when you're in your WebEx training session and you go to invite attendees, again, you can just grab that DL that you created and that'll send out all the invitations. So again, works a little differently and depending on you know your preferences and how you are performing uh, the delivery of your virtual services uh, will depend, will you know, dictate how you want to proceed with um, having to do this this work before the session starts. So I certainly hope this helped. Um, uh, again, I'm not uh, I'm not Mr. WebEx. I promise I'm not. Uh, but I um, I'm just trying to learn like you are and trying to put out the best information I can. If anybody has uh, any other information, uh, feel free to email me if they they want to make any clarifications uh, and or or have more information to add, that would be great. So thank you for watching and stay safe.